Hello everyone, it's Keisha. Today I'm going to show you how I make my own stencils. So let's put this out of the way. So this is one that I made. I just doodled all sorts of leaf-like shapes on a piece of paper. Then I traced this over onto those plastic file dividers, page dividers, from the dollar store. And with a heat tool, cut them out on a piece of glass. And this is the one that is stamped from this stencil. Now I'm going to show you how I do this. So I will trace this over on my plastic divider. And I think I would like to maybe have this come off. Like so. And I'll use a Sharpie. And I'll use a ruler. And I'll just, this is an easy one because it all has straight lines. And as you can see through the plastic, I made a grid first and then I drew approximately a quarter inch on each side of that grid. So, okay, so I will have to see how far I need to go there. Oops. Probably go here. So I will continue doing this and figure out how far I need to get off my thing here. And I will come back when this is all drawn out. So I've drawn the whole pattern out and while I was doing this I got an idea of doing another version of this same pattern and I basically traced in between here. Let me give you a So I'm not sure if I'm going to like this at all or not, but um, we'll go ahead and cut this. So I have a little cutting tool. It's, yeah, it's sort of a small soldering um, tool. It comes with a whole lot of attachments to it. You can actually burn this into wood. I've tried it. looks really good. That works. And it comes with a knife. And the knife will um, cut nicely on the line without leaving too much residue of plastic in front of it. If this was a ball tool, you would get a buildup of plastic if I would have cut here and cut a slit. Let's go back to the first one and and it's a an handmade one so it doesn't have to be exact exact. It's not in my opinion. There and it leaves a very nice clean edge. It goes quickest if you go one direction first. And of course this is a lot easier than doing all sorts of curved I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut this out or not. Anyways, I will be cutting this all out, come back and uh, use it on a piece of paper and we'll check out uh, how this looks. Well, I forgot to mention that I have a piece of glass here that I've found in a picture frame in the thrift store and I just taped 
some masking tape around so that I don't cut myself and I can just draw on this with my heating tool without burning anything and I'm not even scratching the surface of the glass and as you can see I put a little bit of pressure on and it will melt the plastic right in half And you can feel, you can't really tell what is done, but if you slide your fingers over it, you can feel the difference of how far I was at this one still. See, it cuts it right away. Okay, I will uh, come back. Okay, I'm back. I've cut it all out and I will stencil this out now and I've used, I'm have i going to use a sponge and I've got sapphire blue and purple velvet from the dollar store here <coughs> and we'll see how this turns out. Mixing the two colors a little bit and I guess I have to hold on to the stencil to make sure it doesn't go all over the place. Maybe don't move it either. And this was a stencil with straight lines. So this cut way easier than the stencil I showed before with all the leaf-like patterns on it. You have to stay in the curve so it does take a bit more time and well being a little bit more careful and this is also a, a good stencil to use when doing jelly prints with using a jelly plate mono printing it's called and uh, I haven't done it yet but I really would like to try it one of these days and I will turn the camera on and have you come along and see how that goes. I'm just playing here. Well, I just want to see how the stencil turned out. But yeah, this is a, a flimsier type of stencil. But it works. I'm not too picky. Yeah, awkward. I've tried this before with a brush. <coughs> the brush didn't really work very well. It took way too much time and uh, this works way better. I kind of like this. Not bad. Make a little edge over here. stop already okay so this was my stencil making video I hope you like it and uh, thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't done so and we'll talk later bye <laughs>